For the past five years, settlements such as Okombahe, Tubisis, Spitzkopper and Omashete in the Daures constituency have been struggling from the effects of drought. Agricultural activities have diminished because most communal farmers could not feed their animals or water their plants. We are having a garden, but the garden even died because we are struggling for water, for garden, for goats, for chickens, for dogs at home. And if we are going to rent the car for water, we have to pay $100 for every time for the men that is going to fetch for us water in, in the bottles. Water remains a challenge. This in itself has made it impossible for farming activities to go on sustainably, which in turn has affected the livelihood of our people that mostly rely on farming as sources of income. As a temporary relief measure, the Prime Minister has handed over a water tank truck at Okambahe. Sara Kukungelwa Amadila, however, says there is need for the country to create sufficient buffers against food insecurity and threats to livelihoods. The most sustainable way to mitigate disaster risk is to strengthen communities' ability to withstand such risks. As such, the National Resilience Building Strategy is very timely and necessary. And consultations were conducted in this regard in all regions. As a response, our government has adopted a drought relief program which costs 160 million Namibian dollars. The interventions under this program are food assistance for human, humans, water provision and livestock support. With regards to water, an amount of 10 million was availed from the drought relief fund to complement the normal rural water supply efforts undertaken. According to government's annual vulnerability assessments, communities in parts of Irongo, Omasati and the entire Kunene region will be vulnerable to food insecurity this year due to the effects of drought.